Right, here we are on Singapore's Haji Street, which uh, I'm going to go and see two of Singapore's uh, iconic places. One of them's a pretty obvious one coming later on. This one I don't think is quite as obvious or as well known, but uh, apparently it's a must see. So I've got to the end of it here, so I'm just going to turn around. Uh, it's got some interesting wall art apparently. I've just seen a little bit of it, not too much yet. But it's also uh, got all of these funky little shops uh, selling all kinds of things. We'll have a closer look at that in a minute. But uh, yeah, we'll just walk down from one end to the other. Apparently this is very popular and cool with young people. Uh, I'm 60. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, that's young. Yeah, yeah, that's young, isn't it? And, um, you know, you're never too young or, or too old, should I say, for a bit of interesting stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's just walk down here. We'll see if we can come across some wall art. There's a little bit of it over here behind that truck, unfortunately. It's just uh, arrived. Let's see if I can get around here and have a look so they've got some of their i presume most popular dishes just uh as a bit of uh wall art here so that's quite interesting isn't it there's lots of lots of little cafes selling sort of uh, eats as well, croissants and that sort of thing, which I might go for in a minute after this walk. And uh, yeah, I've come fairly early. I think uh, this place is, gets a lot busier than this uh, as time goes on, as the day gets on. But uh, I thought I'd give you the best filming experience when it's fairly empty. Some of these places are shut still. But uh, yeah, you've got shops like this. All sorts of uh, boutiques. And uh, yeah, just uh, sit back and enjoy the, the vibe. Certainly a very colourful place. Oh, here's a bit, a bit of street art on this corner building. It's quite interesting, isn't it? <laughs> the, just come down a little side alley off of uh, RG Lane here because I've spotted some uh, quite cool looking uh, wall art. Not here to funk spiders. Hmm, interesting. Art should comfort the disturbed and disturb the comfortable. Quote by Caesar A. Cruz. So, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> quite uh, an interesting take on things, isn't it? Thanks. Yeah, what this place reminds me of is the lanes in Brighton. It's that, and the, uh, well, particularly the north lanes in Brighton. If you know that, uh, this is 
Um, kind of got a similar vibe. Oh, any trouble here, do you get? Uh, a few vehicles uh, driving down here. a particularly uh, colourful bit here. And uh, yeah, it's not hugely long this uh, RG lane. I'm getting towards the other end of it now. Building here absolutely uh, covered in the wall art there. So you probably think that Singapore is all about sort of uh, gleaming skyscrapers like these here but uh, I bet you didn't know there's a whole other side to it so if you were thinking that Singapore was all about those kind of skyscrapers just take a look at this so it's a I guess this is what you'd call a hipsters paradise very reminiscent of places like uh, the North Lanes in Brighton, um, various places in London. Full of places where you can get craft beers, uh, coffees and croissants and uh, little boutiques. Oh, there's chocolate. Beryl's Chocolate Story. Places where you can get a beer. Not open, I think it was too early for beer. Definitely too early for me to have a beer anyway. <laughs> and you just get to a corner and uh, some of it's up high, so make sure you look up as well as you walk along here. Some very interesting stuff there. Yeah, so be sure to check out some of these uh, little side alleys as well. Yeah, so uh, what do you think? It's quite, a, uh, quite an interesting little place. Uh, not what you'd expect from Singapore at all, I don't think, if you've got just the stereotypical image of it I suppose but uh, it just shows you when you just do a little bit of online research uh, and then a bit of exploration uh, you can find some really unexpected gems uh, in the uh, sort of uh, least expected of places uh, just don't go with the stereotypes I suppose it's like um, a lot of people abroad probably think oh London you know all that's about is Buckingham Palace, uh, the Royal Staff, uh, the sort of Tower of London, Tower Bridge, the city, but uh, I've got no idea about uh, all of the hidden gems there. So, same thing, but yeah, when you uh, just do a quick search, you can just find out 
so many things about these places. So, uh, uh, yeah, um, it's well worth a little detour. Uh, and if you're uh, staying in the middle of the city uh, here in Singapore, on the way back to Changi Airport, it's on the, uh, the airport line. Uh, Bugis Station, B-U-G-I-S. Uh, it's about a five minute walk from there, very easy to find. And, uh, uh, you know, well worth a quick stop on the way out if this is your kind of scene. So you've got lots of people, young people up and down here taking their Instagram pictures. But uh, that's not what I'm about. I'm just about helping people out, pointing out some interesting and unusual aspects of various places, really. You've got a uh, Turkish uh, place here. Coffee, coffee donkey. So you've got coffee shops like this coffee donkey place here. I might, I could do with a coffee actually. I haven't had any breakfast yet. So a nice, I think just a nice little croissant and uh, coffee would go uh, now down nicely. And I've just spotted this place. So, that was Haji Lane for you. I've just retired to a nearby cafe, one of the many around here, uh, for a much needed uh, iced coffee and an almond across the there. So you can see for me, uh, it's a very sweaty business walking around outside in uh, uh, these sort of places like Singapore. So, gonna have, a, have this and the croissant and a bit of a break before making my way to the next little site I want to see. Cheers. So this is the Margaret Dessert Cafe, just around the corner from Harji Lane. Um, yeah, I recommend it. Lovely selection of cakes and coffees and drinks. Changi Airport, uh, the jewel, and no, that's not the waterfall. Uh, the main one is just to my left, but uh, I'll show that to you in a minute. So I'm going to go and uh, start walking around and let you see the experience.
There's a few people around, but it's not uh, too crowded at the moment. Uh, so we're just going to uh, have a look around. I'm going to go all the way around to uh, give you an idea of how long it takes. But you can walk around the whole thing in a couple of minutes. It's not huge. Uh, although if you want to go on all the, the uh, middle and upper levels to look at it, uh, that might take a bit longer. Uh, you can access this uh, land, well it is landside, so you can come and look at this uh, without checking into the airport or anything like that. Uh, should be noted that you can't get to it airside, so if you've got a, uh, a long layover and you wanted to come and see this, you'd have to go landside through immigration uh, and then back through again. Um, but uh, certainly if you want to incorporate this as one of your uh, you know, holiday things, you can do that, no problem, without checking into the airport. So you can see it behind me there part of it. I'll obviously give you some uh, better shots than that in a bit. But uh, yeah, it is really a quite a spectacular thing. A little bit touristy I know. Like I say, uh, it looks like I'm here at a fairly quiet point of time. So it's not hugely crowded, which is nice. So I'm actually standing right in the uh, Sort of mist or the splash zone now and when you come through that it's really quite cooling also you've got everyone taking their pictures and everything so this little waterfall thing is literally where i started the video and even talking to the camera and pausing a few times it's taking me what two three minutes to walk around that uh, so uh, it's not a uh, a huge thing I thought it might be uh, quite a big thing which takes quite a long time to walk around but uh, no it's uh, relatively compact even one of the uh, sky trains goes through there look at that I didn't realize that actually uh, that's I caught that at the right time it looks like there's multiple levels to go up actually. There's uh, one right up the top, a couple of intermediate, well, three intermediate levels that you can get to and walk around. Uh, I presume there's probably lifts to get to them. You don't have to uh, go up a load of stairs or anything like that. Um, I might just see if I can get myself onto the, uh, the first level. There's some stairs just going up to the, well, actually there are stairs all the way up by the looks of it if you're energetic. Yeah, but I'm just going to go to the first one. We'll take a look up there. So this is about the first level up I've come. And like I say, I think there's a few more levels. But uh, this is how I'm only going to do the one. There's another sky train going along there. So there are these lifts just off the... Uh, waterfall itself that you can go on if you like. I'll go on this less crowded one I think. And I've made my way up to the top here, the fourth level. There are lifts, just literally a few yards or metres, probably about three metres off of uh, this area I'm standing now and you can therefore access all of the levels really easily if you wish to to make uh, the most of your experience here at the Drool. So, uh, this is uh, either the world's biggest and coolest water feature or one of the world's best indoor waterfalls so uh, you decide which you want to go for but uh, yeah I am quite impressed and considering it doesn't take very long to get to especially if you're in terminal one and even if you're in the other terminals if you've got a bit of time you can soon get on the sky trains over here 
take a look at uh, the drill here and even if it's just a quick look uh, before you go through immigration and everything to your flights uh, you can have a look at the whole lot and uh, have a quick walk around here it only take you 10 15 minutes to have a, a proper look so do check it out if you're coming through Changi Airport anytime soon. And like I say, you can come here. It is a tourist attraction in Singapore in its own right. Even if you're not going to the airport, it is landside. So you can easily get here just for a quick look at this uh, if you're spending more time in Singapore as well.